What's up, y'all? Vaporface coming back at you again. And today I'm fucking with this motherfucking noisy cricket with the uh, Twisted Message version 1 on top. Man, I got some ki a killer fucking bigger than this bitch. I got some motherfucking uh, Staggered Fuse Claptons. Uh, what is it called? Uh, 34 gauge Staggered Around. Some 26 gauge Nichrome. All Nichrome. It came out to... 0.34 ohms, uh, eight wraps. It's doing, it's doing fine, Danny. That bitch is getting down. Uh, I got a dual review. I'm gonna be talking about the noisy cricket and this juice that I didn't vape damn her all of, called um boot juice, and it's and the name of it is Sunday brunch. And what it is is it's a French toast with uh, it's a blueberry French toast. With uh, whipped cream on top. Let me let me let me go ahead and get it in so I can uh, give a in deep, rich detail about what I'm vaping on for y'all. Oh, and by the way, let me give a couple of specs about this box. I'm gonna start off with a few things that I don't like. The one thing that I really really don't like is that first of all, it ain't got no locking mechanism. That I don't like. This is a serious ass little device. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there and grab this motherfucker because it's annoying. It's the hottest thing. Uh, as far as a cheap series box and all you can blow quick ass clouds with it. No, this motherfucker needs some safety warnings on this bitch. It ain't got no locking mechanisms on it. Don't get me wrong, I love the box. I, I've been around for a little while with vaping, so I'm cool with, with series builds and stuff like that. But there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that'll throw a point two on a on a on a uh, mod like this and hell no, that ain't something you wanna do. So trust me, eyes to eyes, that ain't something the fuck you wanna do. Um, as far as the performance, it performs fucking diligently. Check this out. Ooh, and that, see, it's going to be hard to talk about these two at the same time because that is a very impressive vapor on a very impressive box. So let's get back to the bad things that I don't like about it because it's going to be a whole bunch of good shit. I don't like that it vents from the bottom. I believe it should vent from the sides. At least one slot right there and one slot right there. Everything would have been cool. Um, what else? I love, okay, I think that's about every motherfucking thing that I actually hate about it. It ain't nothing else for real that I can really talk about as far as hating. Now, the shit that I love about it, the weight. This is a fucking, it's a pocket rocket. You would love to vape off this motherfucker. It, it, throw, it heats up your vapor so good and so strong. I find myself putting this bitch down after about three or four pulls. This motherfucker does the trick. Small little pocket rocket, decent to the motherfucker, give off good ass motherfucking power for excellent flavor. For example. If you see that, it's like one second pulls and I got all that. Check it out. And I got all that. And it's giving off spectacular motherfucking flavor. I love the power that this little motherfucker got. Um... I, 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 it ain't shit to bitch about. This motherfucker gets the job done. I can see a lot of motherfuckers taking this bitch to a lot of cloud competitions where uh, it's rough rider rules and uh, anything goes. You run with what you brung. So it's a lot of motherfuckers out there. My boy had one like that. And uh, I believe it's a lot of motherfuckers that have won cloud competitions with like damn near two motherfucking second pulls with this bitch. This is an excellent motherfucking device. Uh, I, again, I like the weight of it. It's a real good ass motherfucking little pocket rocket. Um, it makes, I ain't gonna lie to you, it might be just me, but I vape on a three. This motherfucker make it seem like you vaping on a six. Is it just me? Y'all put a comment down there when y'all see the video and just tell me if it's me or not. Other than that, I love this fucking box. This is Vegeta. All that. That, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is some unnecessary ass power. <laughs> this is some unnecessary ass motherfucking power. Damn near every series build you put on this motherfucker gonna be damn near over 90 to 100 watts. That's easy. Because the way this motherfucker heats up, I, I don't even, I don't know for certain. Don't, don't quote me on that. But the way this motherfucker heats up, the way it puts out, the way it, I didn't put it on three Addies. This being my favorite ad, this is going to be the addy that I keep this motherfucker on. I'm not changing this build. I'm not doing anything else with this motherfucker. This is what I'm going to rock out on for the rest of the motherfucking 
for, for the rest of this video. And uh, I'm going to solely use this Twisted Message on this motherfucker. I might just go ahead and get Twisted Message emblem engraved in this bitch and make it a, a noisy cricket Twisted Message and make both of them go together. Because this motherfucker, these two together, is an excellent combination. Shout out to that guy that put a picture on Instagram because um, he was the one that furtherly let me know that this was. Me and him kind of did it at the same time, but I didn't put a picture up. This is the good motherfucker. I think I did put a picture up on Facebook, but anyway, this is a good ass motherfucking high quality, good ass motherfucking power pusher. This motherfucker gets the job done. Now, with this fucking flavor, y'all can see this shit damn near gone, so it gotta be fucking good. French vanilla, what is it? Vanilla French toast uh, with a hint of blueberry and some whipped cream. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the profile of this flavor. And it is fucking delicious. Especially at a high vape and good temperatures like what this motherfucker giving off. Let me, let me, let me, let me observe it. Yeah, this bitch and that vapor. I, I, this is going to be one of the first fucking vapors that I go out there and order. This one and Dark Cabinet by Reverb. This one, the, the, those two vapors has to be on my top list. Oh, and the guy from Dylan Vapes, uh, Capone and Dillinger. Those are gotta be, these are the top five. These are the top five vapors that I fucking love. If, they, if, if all my vape shop owners out there listening, go out there and get this Sunday brunch. This motherfucker is good. It's made by Voop Juice. This is the one that I was telling you guys about, Voop Juice. And, it's, and the name of it is called Sunday Brunch. It is fucking delicious. This is what the fuck you want to vape on when you first wake up in the morning and you want that cup of coffee to go with a good vape. Man, this right here is it. Yeah, and you get real quick pulls. With massive vapor production, leave your mouth watery. It's all juicy and shit. I feel like spitting right now, but it's so much fucking full of flavor. This is a very fucking delicious vape. So Sunday brunch, I give this bitch a perfect fucking 10. I haven't tasted anything that, that is this thick, this enriched. I mean, this is the only thing that's missing is a little bit of, I want to say chocolate chip then this motherfucker would have been awesome. But it ain't missing nothing. It's perfect like it is. So, uh, this was one of the ones that I had the vape off. I mean, at the, not the vape off, the vape expo. This is a very good motherfucking juice. You guys gonna enjoy this. If there's anybody out there that love boot juice, give me a shout out, because I'm telling you, this motherfucker right here is fucking perfect. So, together, I ain't gonna lie to you, I can give the Noisy Cricket a nine because of the safety issues. I take a point away for this, ah, a point and a half away from the safety issues because there's no locking mechanism. And on the box, they don't give you any safety warnings on how low to build on this damn thing. When you're messing with series power, when you ain't messing with uh, 4.2 volts no more. You're messing with 8.4 volts. So this is something that you should have. This is something that they should have put on their packaging to let people know about. Other than that, I love this fucking box. If you if you know about mods and you know about series builds and, and parallel builds and stuff like that and aiming high on your owns, this guy right here is the perfect fucking candidate for you. It only costs 40 bucks, and it's, and it's a punch in the motherfucking stomach. I think I got about five pull, five or six pulls before it dried out. And I got to get some more of this boot juice. I am seriously got to get some more of this motherfucker. This is the first drip that I put on her. I ran downstairs to hurry up and do a review on this motherfucker because it is that good. Especially with this motherfucking bill. Especially on this motherfucking box. This Twisted Message RDA is brought, has been brought to fucking life. Let me make sure I got this bitch lined up right. I got juice all over my hands. I'm an overdripper, so I can't help that. Yeah. And as you've seen, I just clicked on the button like three times. That ain't nothing. I just got to go in there with an alley key and tighten up the button. Uh, I never tightened up the button or anything like that. There's a couple of people that I know that had noisy crickets where they had to retighten up their button. No big issue. Just tighten your button up and you fine. Yeah, this bitch right here got massive flavor. This this juice ain't no joke. Together, oh my fucking God. This is a combination. Fellas. This is a combination that you would love to go out. Vaporface approved these. These are some of the, these are must-haves. You gotta go out there and grab these. So for the noisy cricket, I can honestly give it a, 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 a eight and a half. 
take off a point and a half for the safety issues because I'm sorry, they should have put some warning shit on that packaging about series build and they also put a shit, they should have put a locking mechanism on this motherfucker because if some, you got clumsy people all the time, all around, man. I'm a clumsy person myself and I knock over all my minds when they sitting on my clapping table. And if I knock it over and let's say something, another mind land against it or something like that, or it just so happened to do some freak accident, all this motherfucker's going to do is fire until it dries out and then it's going to catch fire. So that is a really, to me, that's a really big safety issue. If you, if you, if you, if I don't mind saying so, my motherfucking self. That's the only thing, those are the only two kinds that I have about this motherfucker. Everything else on this bitch is right. A power deliver, powerhouse, is hungry for power, very demanding on flavor, brings your RDAs to fucking life. I love the flavor that this goddamn thing is giving off. Other than that, man, I, that's about where I can leave this motherfucking shit, man. Everybody know where to get this motherfucker at your local vape shop. My boy Dan was going to sell me one, but he, I, took, I, I sort of took him by surprise. I landed up at his shop somewhere around 8 or 9 o'clock. And, uh, well, probably earlier than that. It was dark outside. I lose track of the time. I, I, especially then. But anyway, it was dark outside. It was around 7 or 8, maybe 9 o'clock. And I showed up at his shop. And he had just ran out of noisy crickets. My boy, uh, Dre, like three blocks over, he brought a noisy cricket over and sold it to me and shit. We hung out for about five minutes. So that's how I got my noisy cricket. So I got my first uh, series mod box from, uh, or mechanical series mod box from uh, my boy Dre's shop. And he charged me 40 bucks for this thing. So get down there. I'm pretty sure he got a gang of these motherfuckers. Blank Dan at Blank Vapes. I'm pretty sure he restocked up on these motherfuckers too. Uh, I don't know which. I don't know who's selling the um, the Twisted Messes. This ain't my first go around with the Twisted Messes. I already did a review on this, or oh, I think I might have not. Anyway, I gave it. A, if I didn't, I gave it a good ten because it got a lot of surface fucking area you can build on, and it's a good RDA for builders. A lot of builders have fun with this RDA. I see this RDA all over the internet, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, YouTube, everybody uses motherfucking RDA for building. So this is a great RDA for building. As far as the box goes, it really complements the motherfucking uh, RDA because it pushes power through this motherfucker and brings this bitch to life. So fellas, this two combination, these three are what you want. So if you gave this, if you gave all three of these a motherfucking package vote, I give it a 10 all motherfucking day. Separately, this is a 10. You gotta go out there and get you some of this motherfucking voop juice. I didn't vape this shit down. To where I damn near didn't have enough for a motherfucking review. But I had to go down. I had to come downstairs and share this motherfucking flavor with y'all. Because this is one of the top flavors that I had from that motherfucking vape expo. And on a second note, this motherfucking noisy cricket. I love this motherfucking thing. It gives off a gang of fucking power that a lot of mods don't, can't reach at this speed. I mean, it it it, it, it got a... a uh, uh, rare time of like almost zero to 60 and, and, and that's it. I mean, you, you good with, oh God, this motherfucker get messy. This motherfucker great. I mean, it goes to zero to 60 in, in, in less than a second. This motherfucker is a powerhouse. I love this motherfucking box. So go out there and get you one of these motherfucking noisy crickets. But keep in mind those two safety issues. Stack this motherfucker up or when you ain't vaping this motherfucker and you, and, 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 and you ain't, you are you not around it or something, take the batteries up off this motherfucker. Take the RDA off this motherfucker. Do something like that. But make sure this bitch safe put up because I don't like the idea that it doesn't have a locking mechanism and they should have that they should have put something in the packaging a, a safety a warning package something about a safety you know you, 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 you it's not that hazardous but when you're not experienced in something like this that can really fuck you up so make sure you build it if you ask me I want to build a, above a point three Above a point three. So that right there is, is safe enough to handle all that rowdy ass motherfucking power. And this bitch can surely get rowdy. So I'm going to have another vape off this bitch, man. And you y'all stay up, man. And uh, vape her face out. So make sure y'all vape on. God damn it. God damn that flavor. And the massive cloud production. Let me see if I can. Like I say, I got, <coughs> I ended up having to set this motherfucker down. That wasn't even no dry hit cough. It's just so fucking full of juice. So, go out there, get you a noisy cricket, and um, vapor face out.